Today's my first real day in Ecuador and I'm going to a market. I'm not going into any market. I'm going in the largest market in South America. I'm in Plaza de Ponchos, a place where you could buy anything that you want to buy. And I mean anything, ponchos, blankets, and it's really ran by indigenous people to Ecuador. And oh, there's a lot of stuff here. This place is filled with so much life, so much different colors, so much, so much everything. And I love it. Like this so far. I love it. I love the colors and the, sh no, the shape I was going to say. No, I love the, I don't know. I love it. <laughs> I've been to many markets, but none like this. The colors, the, the everything are just so different. And it's, uh, it's, it is very, very lovely here. And like I said, it's Plaza de um, ponchos, so ponchos everywhere. I don't think this is a poncho. I think this is like a. I don't know what it is, but it looks and it feels so soft. And all of this was handmade, handmade by some woman or guy, or guy, and it feels exactly how it looks. Delicate and nice, and that goes for everything that is here. Whatever your flavor is, you can find it. From little coin purses, to hats, to pants, to jewelry, to belts, to necklaces, to little souvenirs, you can find it in this market. And it is in abundance, guys. It's in abundance. I absolutely love going to things like this. I think it's a different culture. I think it's a different vibe. You see so much that you never get to see on a daily basis back home as even in other countries like you can't find this style of like pants anywhere else for the most part and i think that's very interesting you can't find none of this silver jewelry that's on this table right here as much as you're gonna find it here and i think it's uh, i love it i absolutely love it i really do wish i had room in my backpack for souvenirs because I would love to buy a lot of this stuff, right? I would love to buy the hats. I would love to buy, buy all this stuff. But there's just not enough room in my bag. Which brings me to a complaint that I really don't like about backpacking. is like, especially the size and the type of way that I like to backpack, as least as possible, right? My backpack's 40 liters. You really can't fit much in there besides the essentials. Um, but today is one of those days where I feel like I really want to buy a souvenir. I truly do. Uh, but this is a little bit too big. Even something as simple as this scarf behind me. That's way too big still. Way too big. And then I don't want to buy something too small because guess what? I'll just lose it. I lose all my small things, which is not good. But if I don't buy a souvenir, how would anybody know that I went to Plaza de Ponchos? And how would anybody know I went to Ecuador? Right? How would they know if I don't buy a souvenir? But the thing is, I just can't buy anything, right? I just don't want to buy a piece of junk and then just throw it in my bag and not really care for it. I want to buy a quality, nice piece. And that's kind of hard. A nice quality piece that will fit where I want it to fit and I will always remember that place. Very challenging. A very challenging task. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this sweater on because I need cold weather. So. I need cold weather gear, and this feels great. This is made of alpaca, and I think it works. See, large. See? Perfecto. Perfecto. If they have, have it a large in black, I'll, I'll, I, I, I will take it. 
Um, they don't have it on them right now. They're running to go get it. But what do you think? It's in black. It feels really like warm. It's like made out of. You said this is um, dude. This is an alpaca. Yeah. See? Alpaca. Alpaca. So. Where else are you gonna get alpaca sweater from? I mean, you can get it a lot of places, right? But the places that I've been to, not here yet. If they have my size, this will be a a thing that I'm going to have to fit in my bag. Um, and I don't know how that's gonna work. To be honest, I really don't. Uh, this, these are very thick sweaters. They are very large and uh, they take up a lot of space. He has one in large. Perfect. That looks like it will work just for me. So then, yo tomo. Yo tomo. Uh, this is uh, un poco más. Si. Ooh. Si. It's different uh, size. Si. This, uh, medium mm -hmm. for $20. Mm. for $25. Uh, 25. Sí. Es diferente. Sí. Then, entonces, es posible yo vestido un medium? Un medium? Sí. Un negro? Sí. Posible en 24. Sí. Ah, sí, pero yo no en, tengo mucho dinero. En medium? Solo eh, 40. <laughs> sí. Eh, try on en, me, en medio, ¿ya? Yeah? Sí. Okay. Sí. Sí. Tienen cambio para 23. 24. 24. Pero eso es 20. Eso es 20. 26. Es muy lar largo de diferente piso. De mismo. En in this mm -hmm. or mínimo por 25. Mm, ¿Verdad? En <laughs> Es, es buen material, es caliente, sí. Es sí. por buen. Sí. Mm, yo, yo pienso, yo pienso. Ok, ya, yeah, ok. Por ya, última venta, ok, mm. por 23. Yeah. Gracias. ¿23? Perfecto. And that's how you haggle, baby. Gracias. Uh, yeah. Sí. I only literally have $40 to my name, and this was $23. I should have to pay for a bus ride and food for tonight. We're not looking so hot, guys. We're not looking so hot. Dos, siete, treinta y cuarenta. Sí, um, ahí está. Bueno. Sí, sí. muchas gracias. Pero no, gracias para ti, señor. <laughs> Haggling is part of the culture, right? It's like, you may think, oh, this gringo is just trying to get some cheap stuff. No, guys, like, the first price is never the price what it is never like i don't care if you're in latin america if it, even if you're in america you can always haggle the price down um and you want to be as fair as possible right you being a gringo you obviously have way more money um but you also don't want to get ripped off you know like if a, if a thing is not worth 25 dollars, or if a thing's not worth what you think it is just simply ask if you can get it lower if you can then great if you can't somebody else will get it lower Trust me. And like I said, you may think, oh, two dollars is not that much. But guess what, guys? Two dollars is a bus ride. Two dollars is a taxi ride. Two dollars is something. So if I can save me two dollars on a shirt that may or may not fit in my backpack, then I'm gonna save me two dollars. Now I know I haven't did a really much of a bag tour yet on my page. Every other backpacker does it. Oh, what's in my bag while I backpack through Latin America? Um, I just haven't really had the time to do it, to be honest, but I really want to. Um, but yeah, this is a good cop. I, I, I think so. I think I'm going to use it a lot in Ecuador and my following countries as well, right? I'm, I plan on going to Peru. Peru's even colder than here. The weather today is supposed to be from 20 degrees Celsius to 9 degrees, 8 degrees even. That is freezing cold. I mean, it's not freezing, freezing. But for me, a little Texas boy from the United States, that's freezing. Unlike other garments that you buy at like the stores or whatever, they have wash instructions. This one has none. It literally just says Ecuador and nothing else. So do I know how to wash alpaca wool? No. Um, so that's gonna be a challenging thing probably here like here soon how durable is it I don't know um, we will 
we just learn as we go, guys. I'm just a little dumb traveler traveling Latin America. Normally when I buy stuff, I always like to ask around, like to shop around. Like I like to go to one stall, see what their price is, go to the other, see what their price is. But I just saw this black garment. I was like, I need it. I need it. And um, luckily my haggling skills are a lot better than they were when I started this trip. When I started this trip, it was really bad. I was getting like, I wasn't getting scammed. Like I said, if I don't like the price, I just won't buy it. But I'll just say, oh, you want like 25? Okay. You know, then I'll just do it. But now... I'm haggling. Now, I actually need pants. As you see, I'm wearing shorts. Uh, Ecuadorians, Peruvians, Colombians, they don't wear shorts, right? Because it's a little bit too cold for shorts. And so I need a lot of pants. I don't think I'll buy pants here. I want to buy some nice quality hiking pants. Uh, Cause I expect to hike very soon. Um, I'll probably make a video of that, so stay subscribed and look for that. But I need pants. But I don't think I'm gonna find them today. But I think the French girls that I was traveling with uh, yesterday, that I crossed the border at in yesterday's video, I think they're looking for pants. How do you like it so far? I love it. Look, I already find the pants. It's been uh, five minutes. We we're in the market, so I think I'm gonna be screwed. Ah, perfecto. Actually, they're not trying on pants anymore. They're trying out necklaces. Mm. Okay. Which one? Oh, I don't know. I think it looks beautiful. You just want to leave. <laughs> no. No, I love it. Allez, il Vamos. So you, you're gonna get it? Yeah, I'm gonna get it. I like it. Yeah, you like it? I like it. You like it? Perfecto. Yeah. <laughs> I just gave my man $23 and my man's over here gambling it. Straight hustler. Straight hustler. Look, 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 look. Jeez. I don't even know what, like, what's going on but it looks like a very interesting game. I am laughing so hard right now. Literally like, my man just gambling my $23. Well, technically it's not mine anymore. I gave it away, but just straight gambling it. Look at this view in the back. Wow, that's beautiful. See that in the market? I, I'm loving Ecuador by the second. What are you doing next ladies? What next? are we doing next? Yeah. Uh, should we go in this market? Yeah. <laughs> we have figured out what we're going to do today. And the girls said that they are tired of me following them and they want to follow me. I told these girls, I don't travel the same as you, but they insisted. <laughs> so they're in a world full of adventure today. We have made our way uh, to a very bright park. It's really filled with nothing, but also filled with something as well. And that something is this. It's a metal park that everything is filled with metal. Let's go check out the sculpture. At first glance, this park just seems like a bunch of metal structures. But if you look at it, right? It's the phases of the moon. Here we have a full moon. Here we have a waning moon. Here we have an even more waning moon. Here we have some TikTok girls uh, TikToking. Here we have a new moon. Here we have a waxing moon. Here we have an even more waxing moon. And last but not least, another full moon. And that's the phases of the moon. A random find in this random town. Ooh, my man's going fast. You know how to skate? Do a trick. No, ma'am. I cannot skate at all. These French girls have me sitting down here on the ground. When have y'all ever seen me sit like this on the ground in the city? Never. 
You never, but apparently this is the French way of relaxing. Yeah. You sit down somewhere in the middle of the town and you sit. Why not? Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. I'm enjoying my time right now. <laughs> This is crazy. This is crazy. Are y'all wine drinkers? No. Yeah? Do 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 y'all like wine more than beer? No, beer. Not beer. Beer? beer? beer mm. They're not the true French girls. They're not I don't like beer at all. Yeah. Do you like wine? Yeah. Oh, I love wine. Very like situational places cuz you can't just walk with a bottle of wine and drink it like you can or like a beer. We do that sometimes. We do that sometimes. We also do that. What's a picnic? A picnic? Yeah. yeah, you have everybody knows what a picnic is, ladies. I don't know if it's the same word in English and in French. Yeah. yeah. So like, it's the same in French? Picnic? Yeah, picnic. Oh. I I'm... think it's not written the same way, but P I Q U E and then N I U E. <laughs> and that's just picnic. That's picnic. all all those letters are yeah. picnic. Yeah. Ooh, that's a very interesting. Que and K is the same thing like C or Q E yeah. Q U picnic. Q U Wow. That's insane, ladies. That's actually in insane. So the ladies said they want to travel like how I travel. Well, today we're in a market. We're getting a whole bunch of vegetables and fruits. Today we're going to cook. Now, I didn't cook a lot in Colombia, but the girls want to travel like I travel. And if y'all seen me before, y'all know. I throw down in the kitchen. The first country where they actually design the like the like the greenery. Look at that. It's a duck. For the first time in 200 plus days, guys. 200 plus days, I lost money. Now, I'm not going to say that I got pickpocketed. I'm not going to say much. All I'm saying is that I when I bought that t-shirt or this shirt from that guy, uh, I got the change back from him and I put it directly in my pocket. I didn't put it in my wallet, which is a cardinal sin that you never do. Never do. And when I went to pay for some stuff, guess what? It was not in my pocket. Um, but from that moment to a lot of moments, I was running and jumping around. So it really could have fell out or someone could have pickpocketed me. The thing is, I don't think someone pickpocketed me because no one touched me. Um, I'm very aware of that. So I'm thinking it really did fall out, which is dumb, 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 dumb on me. But let's let's start cooking. First agenda is um, boiling the potato. We'll get in the water boiler started. Yeah. And that's already taken care of. Just like that, we're eating. I call this patacón con papa and tomate, but really it's chicken. Potatoes, onions, tomatoes, and avocado with some lime juice on top. That seems good. We're gonna eat, and I hope you eat as well today as well. And that's all for this video. I ain't got much to show. I'd say it was a very interesting day, but you know that. Happy travels. Happy travels. Let's try it. And what we do is we cheat. We cheat. We cheat. I don't have everything. That French. No. Just <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.